Welcome to sewing class. I'm Annette Jolie and today we are working on our hand sewing notebook. We are working on number three, 3A button with holes. So here you see some of the supplies you can use. My wax and rulers, writing implements, I've got my needle with thread, my two hole sew through button, etc. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our muslin and we're going to draw a border around the edge. We're going to use our half inch guide on the ruler here. So we have a little half inch border. and go ahead and draw this around the edge. And then we're gonna use this little border as a stitch guide. Line it up with the last intact thread all the way along, have the fringe hang over the edge. These are muslin swatches you've prepared from one of my prior videos. There, now we've got a full border. Go ahead and grab your other swatch. Let's layer the two swatches together. Lining up my corners, lining up my edges. Now let's go ahead and grab a couple of pins. And we'll pin the two layers together. should be good. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can do this next part with your needle and thread. I've got a sewing machine, so I'm going to go ahead and make a border with my machine and not with a hand sewing needle. Let's go ahead and drop that presser foot down and the needle. Position it right where you want it, right on your line. You can remove your pin so you don't sew anywhere near it or on it. This is a straight stitch, we're at 2.5, and we're going to go ahead and start sewing. Coming to the corner, we're going to pivot, remove the pin, drop down. Coming to the next corner, you can walk that last stitch. Coming to the corner. And now so that we don't make a knot, go ahead and trim the threads at the very beginning so those aren't in the way when you overlap. Let's go forward, one more, one more line and another corner and a couple back stitches. Let's turn the corner and go forward. And we'll go back. And now we have our back stitch on our corner and we have prepared our border for sewing on our button. And there's our nice little border. Now we're gonna go ahead and you can fold it and come up with the middle 
and go ahead and mark where the very middle is. And I'm going to grab my needle and thread. And I'm also going to grab a two hole sew through button. And I'm going to start sewing this. This is going to be the right side of the fabric here. Okay, so here's our right side. I'm going to start on the right side by taking my needle and thread and I already have a knot at the end and go through with the knot on the top. Then I'm going to go over about two little baby stitches, come right back up next to that stitch. This is the wrong side, not the same hole, but right next to it. Come back up next to it, snug that thread nice and close, and then start going through the holes of the button. I'm going to go through the back. I'm going to go through the front. Then I'm going to bring that button down nice and close, and I'm going to go in to the fabric one more time. And we're gonna pull that button nice and close and we're gonna untwist any of the thread, make sure the thread's like parallel to the holes, that looks good. Now we're on the back side, this is the wrong side. Just go over a couple baby little stitches of fabric, come right back up, go in the back side of those holes And we'll go through one more time. We're on the back, go over a couple stitches. And then now when you come up, here okay, we're on the back, go in a couple stitches away. Don't go through the holes, come up right next to where you started that. So you've gone through twice through the holes. You have a four ply of thread, and so there's eight threads in there. That's plenty of thread. We're going to push the button to the side, loop under, form a little thread lasso, bring the knot nice and close. Let's try that again. Let's make a thread lasso, bring the needle the opposite direction, hold that thread nice and close. There we go. Now go ahead and grab your thread snippers, trim that nice and close, and you have completed your two-hole sew-through button. Write your name on it and write that it's a two-hole sew-through. Since we have uh, four-hole sew-throughs, I want you to know the difference. Two-hole sew-through. This is Annette Julie, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.